All right, so here at Carolina Cubes, one thing I want to let you know is that we do love the ladder versus the ramp. And the number one reason is we love the looks of it. This is a very traditional style ramp. And if you love traditional things, I mean, this is a great choice, but this is very unique. Also, it does serve a great purpose as it's a lot easier to clean should you feel you have to clean your ramp or ladder, even though you don't have to. The other thing is if you have a, a smaller coupe, a smaller run, you may not have room for a six foot ramp versus a four foot ramp. It's a lot easier to fit that in your coupe. As far as the length, I wanna just measure these real quick so I give you guys accurate information. The ladder here is just under 51 inches, so a little over four feet. And the ramp here, is just over 72 inches or just over six feet. Now, again, the, the advantages and disadvantages, one, if you think that your chicken, especially you people that have silkies, are gonna have a difficulty going up a steep incline like this ladder, a ramp is a good idea for you. One of the things about the ladder style is it makes it real easy for the chickens to get up in a shorter distance. The other thing too that we've noticed that a lot of people say is that they like the looks of the ladder versus the ramp, but again, that's just personal preference. The other thing is, one of the parts that's gonna get really, really dirty inside your hen house, inside your coop, is the ramp or the ladder, because they're using it constantly, they might hang out on it. But what I've noticed with ramps is they catch a lot of the droppings from the chickens. And at the end of the day, the chickens really don't care. I know you guys out there are gonna care. So you might find yourself having to clean this more versus a ladder style where the droppings can fall through in between the rungs or the steps. Now, speaking of ladders and ramps, look at this cute little thing. This is what we call our interior hen house ladder. It is a beautiful piece of furniture for your chicken coop. And what this is for is that it goes down into your deep litter area that drops down 12 inches. And for you people that have those really special chickens like silkies, this makes it easy for the silkies to be able to walk up and get out the front of the chicken opening or the front of the hen house opening. When we make these, they are pocket hold and screwed and glued. And the really nice part is they're all rounded over. So there is actually a half inch round over. It makes it nice and smooth. Makes it look really, really nice. And we do cut the ends at a 45 degree because it's gonna sit right in there at 45 degrees. Now, another thing that people mention a lot is, well, Matt, I gotta clean that. No, you don't. You don't have to constantly clean the things in your chicken coop. It is a chicken coop. Also, these are all made out of dug fur. This stuff is not gonna disintegrate on you. All right, so what we're gonna do right now for you is we're gonna go outside. I wanna show you what these ramps, ladders look like in a real Carolina coop. All right, so out here inside the run, here's a great example of one of those six foot ladders, or I'm actually an example of one of the six foot ramps. And as you can see, it just goes right up into the hen house opening so the chickens can just walk right up the ramp step by step and hop inside their hen house. Also, just so you guys see again, this is a six foot ramp. It's longer than the ladder. So the angle isn't as much. So for you people that think that your chickens can't climb up a ladder, a ramp is a great choice. Again, especially for you people that have silkies. One of the things, speaking of silkies, that we have done in the past when it comes to ramps is we've actually added side rails, almost like bumpers on a bowling alley, uh, so that they can have easier access getting up the ramp. So, and again, and just to remind you guys, right now, this coop's not being used. It's one of our display coops, and right now it's fairly clean. Again, though, this is gonna be one of the dirtiest parts of your chicken coop. And if you feel it necessary too, we actually have had a lot of customers say, Matt, I can't stand when they get dirty. Send me two ramps, send me two ladders, and we're gonna swap them out, rotating them while they clean it and let it dry out. They bring in the new clean ramp. All right, now let's go look at a ladder. All right, so inside this coop right here, you can see a ladder. Now, right now, it's not screwed in. However, one of the things that is really nice about the ladder, as I was saying earlier, it's shorter. So if your run's not as long, this is a great solution for that. It is definitely easier to clean than it is a ramp. As you guys can see, this ladder right here, one of the things I like about it is it is adjustable as far as your height when you're screwing it into the front of your hen house. It is designed, if you look at the bottom, 
long point, or actually I guess it would be short point right there, the wide open angle cut at the bottom of this board here, it's meant to fall flush to the bottom of this board here when you're screwing it in. And right there is, in my opinion, perfect, not to mention it falls perfectly flat to the bottom board of the chicken coop. But should you wanna bring it up a little bit higher, it is completely adjustable. And before we forget, look at this little ladder. It goes inside the hen house. Here you can see it's going down into the deep litter. And again, as your deep litter fills up, the ladder is completely fine, but it's for your special chickens that need that little extra help to get out from the deep litter and out to the front of the hen house and get down into the run and start working. So yeah, I mean, look at this ladder. Before we close, I just wanted to show you guys another ladder, not painted, but oiled. One of my favorite things as a woodworker is the oil wood because you still get to show off all the beautiful grain and wood loves oil. And the whole point is when the wood is saturated with that oil and it dries and cures inside there, water has no place to go. So water will not feed those wood destroying organisms. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please, as always, leave them down below. We always love to hear from you. Later.